Good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you? And you? Doing great. Thank you very much. Thanks for asking. Okay. So here we are. I'm going to share the screen with you now. And um, now the attendance list. Just give me a second. Okay. Okay. Um, just a moment. Okay, uh, when I call your names, please let me know. Um, Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Present teacher. Welcome. Arles Ernesto López. Present teacher. Welcome. Paudilio Elenilson Rivera. Ramirez. Present, teacher, I am here. Okay, welcome, Paudilio. Carlos Alberto Santos Reyes. Carlos Alberto Santos Reyes. Teacher, solo va a estar en audio, dice. En el, en el, en la tirada de mes. Okay, let's see. Okay. All right. Um, Carlos Edgardo Cruz Gonzalez. Carlos Edgardo Cruz Gonzalez. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. David Antonio Rosales García. Present teacher. Welcome. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Present teacher. Welcome. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Present teacher. Welcome. Ever Francis Alvallero. Ever Francis Alvallero. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Ever Aristides Oya Ruiz. Ever Aristides Oya Ruiz. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. José Amilcar Reyes Cruz. Present teacher. Welcome. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. José Valentín Rivera López. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Present, 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 teacher, presente. Welcome. Juan Francisco Arrazábal Calderón. Presente, presente. Welcome. Karen Julisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Karen Julisa Vázquez de Aparicio. María de Lourdes Miroslava Mansur Aguilar. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, present. welcome. María Magdalena Cedillos González. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Welcome. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Present, teacher. Welcome. Mónica Ibet Merino Rivas. Mónica Ibet Merino Rivas. Oscar Susana Castellano. Present, teacher. Welcome. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. 
Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Good evening, teacher. Present. Welcome. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Present, teacher. Welcome. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Present, teacher. Welcome. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Ever Francis Alvallero. Present, teacher. Welcome. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Present teacher here. Welcome. Ever Aristides Oye Ruiz. Ever Aristides Oye Ruiz. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. José Valentín Rivera López. Karen Julisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Yes, María Magdalena. Teacher, el compañero Ever Oya Ruiz eh, nos acaba de suceder una situación con estudiante, entonces él no va a poderse conectar porque debe trasladarlo. Ok. Ok, Disculpen. thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Ok. Um, Let's see, Monica Yvette Merino Rivas. Is Monica Yvette here? Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Okay, I'm calling attendance one more time at the end of the class. Okay. All right, everybody, take a look. This is Inglés Pre Intermedio, Modulo 1, and that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service. This is session 14. Teacher, and today's, teacher. Uh, hello, Enrique. Hello. I am here. Welcome. Okay, uh, this is session 14 and today is August the 16th of 2023. Okay, so we're going to start. So what are we going to do? It's the present continuous, a uh, very short review of the content we studied yesterday. Um, again, you have it here. She says, I'm eating. So she is eating. She isn't reading. Okay, so it's raining. The sun isn't shining. And uh, they say we're running. They're running. They aren't walking. Okay, so what is the present continuous? The present continuous is M is an R plus the verb in ing, like doing, eating, running, writing, etc. If you need to make it negative, then you're going to use the negative form of the verb be. Like this, you say I am or I am not, and then the verb in ing, like I'm working, I'm not watching TV. He, she, it is, and the verb in ing, and if it's negative, you say is not or the contracted forms. So Maria is reading a newspaper. She isn't eating or she's not eating. The phone is ringing. Finally, you have we, you, and they, the subjects we, you, and they. You have to use are, which is the verb be, and the verb in ing. If it's negative, you're going to say are not or the contracted form. And you say, we are having dinner you're not listening to me or you aren't listening to me. Both forms are correct. And the children are doing their homework. They are doing their homework. Same information from yesterday, nothing new. Now the present continuous is again, the verb be plus the verb in ing. And it means that something is happening now. You can see a timeline here. This is the past, this is the future. And right now we are in the present. So. 
anything happening right now is in present continuous. For example, you say, I am working. She is wearing a hat now. They're playing baseball now. I am not watching television now. Monica Merino is present. Okay, Monica, Yvette, Merino, Rivas, welcome. All right, uh, you have some examples. This person says, please be quiet. I'm working. That means I'm working now in this moment. Uh, look, there is Sarah. She's wearing a yellow dress. That means she's wearing a yellow dress right now. The weather is nice. It's not raining. That means uh, it's not raining right now. You can also say it isn't raining. Where are the children? They're playing in the park. Right now, they are playing in the park. On the phone, you say, we're having dinner right now. We're having dinner now. Can I call you later? And finally, you can turn off the television. I'm not watching it, okay? Same exercise, same examples, I'm sorry, from yesterday. So the spelling rules, uh, remember that you have to add ing to most verbs, okay? For example, work becomes working, ing. Study becomes studying, ing. Eat becomes eating, ing. For verse ending in E, you have to drop the E and add ing. Verse like come, dance, and write, they end in E. So you have to eliminate that E and add ing. For example, come, and in E, becomes coming. Dance, and in E, going to zoom in. Dance, and in E, and uh, it becomes dancing. Write, and in E, you eliminate the E, and it becomes writing. Remember, uh, I told you about an exception to this rule. The exception is when the verb ends in double E. If the verb ends in double E, just add ing. Only that. You don't need to eliminate anything. For example, the verb agree, agree ends in double E. If that's the case, don't eliminate the final E. No, that's a mistake. You have to keep it. Tiene que conservarla, right? You have to keep it and you have to add ing. Another example is the verb free, which is liberar, okay? Also, as an adjective, free means libre, okay? Also, gratis. But as a verb, it means liberar. So, you have free, it ends in double E. If it's a double E, then don't change anything, don't eliminate anything. You just have to add ing. That's the ing form, okay? So, remember that. Chat entries, Santos Mauricio Arias Valle is here. Okay, it's raining, apparently. Okay, uh, next uh, rule for verse ending in a stressed syllable with a final combination, consonant, vowel, and consonant, you have to add an extra consonant and ing. Examples include run. Run only has one syllable, and it ends in consonant, vowel, consonant. So, both conditions are met. You say running, double N, ing. Stop, one syllable. Okay, stop has one syllable, so that's the stress syllable, and it ends in consonant, vowel, consonant, T-O-P. So, both conditions are met. You say stopping, double P, I-N-G. And then you have control. Now, this is a bit trickier because control has two syllables. So, you need to determine which syllable is stressed. In this case, you say, you have to analyze and you think, is it control? or control? The answer is, it's control, troll. The final syllable is stressed. So that's condition number one. Condition number two, it ends in consonant, vowel, and consonant, R-O-L. So yeah, both conditions are met, so you have to follow the rule. You have controlling, double L and I-N-G. Be careful with the stress. When you have a verb like visit, for example, you have visit, you can see the verb and say, okay, visit, yes, okay, there's consonant, vowel, consonant, okay, good. But the final consonant is not stressed because you don't pronounce visit, visit, no, you don't say visit, the correct pronunciation is visit, visit. The stress is in the first syllable. It's here, visit. So only one condition is met. No rule. If you want to form the ing, uh, if you want to make the ing form, uh, you have to add ing. Only that. 
you don't duplicate any consonants. Chat entry here. Okay, Evert Aristides. But are you in class? Evert, creo que solo se conectó y se salió. Ah, no, aquí está. Evert Aristides is online. Okay, Evert, thank you. All right, uh, final rule uh, for verse ending in IE, you have to change the IE for YING. For example, there's a verb lie, IE, you change it for YING, lying. Die, okay, that's another verb. It ends in IE, so you change it for YING, dying. Tie is another verb that ends in IE, so you change IE for YING, tying. Those are the same rules we studied yesterday, and there are some ex exercises. We did this exercise yesterday. Number one, say she's eating an apple. Number two, he's waiting for a bus. And number three, they are playing soccer. Number four, he's lying on the floor. Number five, he they are having breakfast. And number six, she's sitting on the table. We did this yesterday, so we're not going to uh, do it again. So pressing continuous, okay, we have this exercise right here. Okay, complete the sentences. You have to use these verbs. The verbs are build, cook, leave, take, stand, swim, stay, and work. These are the verbs that you need to use for this exercise. So you have to use the present continuous. Remember, the present continuous is the verb be, and is an R, and then the verb in ing. It's very, very important. What about the first one? The person is saying, hey, please be quiet. I am... What am I doing? If you know the answer, please raise your hand. Let's do this. Come on. If you know the answer, please raise your hand and you'll have an opportunity to participate. Evan Enrique. Please be quiet. I'm working. You forgot something important, the verb be. I I am working. Yes, okay, I am working. The verb is very, very important, okay? I am working, very good. Thank you, Eva. Number two, where is John? Volunteers. Maria de Lourdes. Where is John? He's in the kitchen. Is cooking. He is cooking. That is correct. Very good. Thank you, Maria de Lourdes. Uh, number three. Number three. Cecia Jemima Ortiz Duñez. Full name. It's a complete name right there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, come on. The, you are standing on my foot. Oh, I'm sorry. You're standing on my foot. Oh, I'm sorry. ¿Quién no va a sentir eso? Que está parando en el pie de alguien más. Okay, good. Thank you, Cecia. Number four. Um, number four, who wants to participate? It has to be a different person this time. So, please. Nobody wants to participate. Come on. Number four. Baudilio. Look, somebody. I am I am swim, swimming. Swimming. Somebody is the subject. Esta es la persona. Solo hay que agregar el verb B y el verbo en ING. Somebody. Ah, uh, somebody. Mm -hmm. Uh, solo hay que agregar the verb be and then the verb in ing uh, look somebody uh, yeah. are swimming no um, swimming is good but the verb be is not good Remember this? Uh, is, when you, is, is swimming? Is swimming, yeah. 
all the all these pronouns like somebody or someone anybody or anyone it's the same everybody everyone nobody and no one okay all of them always 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 they use a verb in let me zoom out third person singular form okay that's the thing so all of these somebody someone anybody anyone everybody everyone nobody and no one they are always followed by a verb in third person singular form so yeah you say somebody is swimming in the river okay thank you very much we have a chat entry here okay juan francisco welcome back okay um number five okay number five i need a different person this time please raise your hand if you know the answer enrique and then david for number six okay uh, number five yes uh, we, are, we are here in vacation we are built in the central hotel we are build we are building the central hotel no <laughs> then you're not on vacation you're working if you're building the central hotel si no está construyendo el hotel no está de vacaciones está trabajando aha uh -huh. it's a different verb um ese es el problema de no poder ser bien los verbos <laughs> ah okay Remember, build means construir, cook, cocinar, leave, irse, take, uh -huh. llevar, o, bueno, en este caso no es llevar, pero bueno, uh, tomar, sería en este caso, stand, estar de pie, swim, uh -huh. nadar, stay, permanecer o quedarse en, and work, trabajar. So, sería what about este, number five? Uh -huh. Quedarse, quedarse, entonces quedarse. Uh -huh. So, entonces what's, sería... the, what's the form? Uh -huh. We are here in vacation. We are staying at the Central Hotel. We are staying at the Central Hotel. That is correct. Okay, thank you, Enrique. We're staying at the Central Hotel. Now, David, number six. Where is Susan? Teacher. Yes. What is the meaning of shower? Take a shower. Oh, sorry. I gave you the bird. Okay. Every morning you do this. Okay. Bañarse? Yes. Okay. Voy a bajar la mano porque no veo. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you have the answer, David? Permite el chiste, permito. Okay. Um, les quiero nada más pedir un, un pequeño favorcito. Eh, si estamos en clase en la medida de lo posible, ¿verdad? Si es que si es que es posible. Si hay música de fondo, eh, veamos si existe una manera de que tal vez le podamos pedir a la persona que esté escuchando música que la quite o que le baje mucho el volumen, porque eh, por cuestiones de copyright, ¿verdad? De derechos de autor, hasta eso, hasta eso puede anular que se suba el video de la clase a la plataforma de YouTube, ¿verdad? Así que. Cuidado ahí, ¿verdad? Si está sonando música al fondo y quiere participar, mejor póngalo en el chat. Ok. Y si es usted quien tiene la música, entonces le vamos a pedir ahí que la, que la quitemos. Ok. Uh, let's see. Um, Ceci and then María de Lourdes. Where is Susan? Where is Susan? She is taking a shower. She's taking a shower. Okay, very good. She's taking a shower. Great. 
Uh, Maria de Lourdes, number seven. They are building a new hotel in the city center at the moment. They are building a new hotel in the city center at the moment. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Ceci, and thank you, Maria de Lourdes. Yes. Teacher. Yes. Sorry. No referente a la, a, la, a, a la plataforma de YouTube, uh -huh. yo hice una consulta en el chat, en el, en el WhatsApp del grupo, y solo me dejaron en vista, no me contestaron, porque no me aparece la lista de reproducciones de YouTube. No sé si tomaron uh -huh. alguna medida por, razones, por las razones que hablábamos la vez anterior, uh -huh. pero o, o se crearon una nueva lista porque el enlace que mandaron en un inicio eh, no, no me permite funciona. ingresar a las clases, exacto. Déjenme ver. Bueno, yo sí tengo acceso. Lo voy a pasar. El... Se lo voy a pasar. Lo voy a poner en el WhatsApp una sola vez. Thank you. Ok. You're welcome. Ahí está la lista de reproducción. Ok. Uh, Salvador Manrique says present. Hello, Salvador. Welcome. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Welcome, welcome. All right, so uh, what about number eight? What do you have? Okay, Baudilio. I am leaving. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. I am leaving. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. I'm avoid this. I'm leaving. Goodbye. All right. Chat entry. Teacher. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Yes. What's your question? Leaving is uh, uh, dejar. Yes. And also yeah. irse. Partir. Ah, okay. Both. Ya me voy. Como, mm -hmm. Ya me voy. Mm -hmm. Exactly. When you say I'm leaving, ya me voy. Okay. okay, but also the verb leave means dejar, dejar algo. Okay, that's that's okay. the meaning of leave. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Erika Beatriz is present. Welcome, Erika. Okay, so uh, present continuous. There's another exercise. Look at the picture, write sentences about Jane. Use the present continuous tense, affirmative or negative form. So you have to look at the picture. Look at the picture and tell me. Have dinner. I'm going to give you an example. Say, she isn't having dinner. You see the picture and no, no dinner in the picture. So she isn't having dinner. If it's happening in the picture, you have to give me an affirmative sentence. If it is not happening, then you tell me a negative sentence. What about number two? Watch television. It's an old television that she has. Okay, so um, raise your hand if you know the answer, please. Watch television. Bolilio. Eh, se, sería en referencia a la imagen que estamos yes. observando. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, sería, yes, she is watching television. She is watching television. Correct. Okay, very good. Thank you, Bolilio. Number three, sit on the floor. Sit on the floor. If you want to participate, please raise your hand and uh, let's do this. Maria de Lourdes, okay. She's sitting on the floor. She's sitting on the floor. Yes, that's correct. She's sitting on the floor, double T, because it's a one-syllable uh, verb, finishing in consonant, vowel, and consonant. Thank you. Number four, read a book. What about that one? Read a book. Maria Magdalena. She isn't read a book. She isn't? Isn't uh -huh. reading she, a book. Uh -huh. She isn't reading a book. Uh -huh. Okay, she isn't reading a book. Yeah, correct. Thank you, Maria Magdalena. Number five, play the guitar. Bolilio. She isn't play, playing the guitar. She isn't playing the guitar. Very good. Very good. Thank you, Valdilio. Laugh. You know, laugh. <laughs> okay. What about that one? Laugh. Cecilia. 
She is laughing. She is laughing. Yes, she's laughing. Okay, good. Number seven, wear a hat. Wear a hat. Remember the vocabulary. We studied that vocabulary a few weeks ago. So, um, Saul Erezo. She is wearing a hat. She's wearing a hat. Are you sure? Is this a hat? Is a hat. Not That's really. Mm, no. <laughs> It's a little bit different. <laughs> I don't know. No problem. No. But thank you for your participation. What about number seven? If you know, please raise your hand. Number seven. Este vocabulario lo estudiamos. Okay, Baudilio. She is. Isn't wearing a hat. She isn't wearing a hat. So question, Baudilio, what is she wearing? Colocado, uh, puesto. No, no, but what is that? What is she wearing? Okay, it's true. Uh, uh, she, she isn't wearing a hat. Okay, good. But what is she wearing? Uh, Acérquelo, teacher. How do you say acérquelo in English? You can say... A saber. Is... Sí. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. Okay. Uh, it, the opposite it's... will be zoom out. Uh, um, uh. Zoom in, Please zoom out. Zoom it, teacher. Okay. So what is she wearing? Es como tener puesto. Ajá, pero ¿qué es lo que tiene puesto? María de Lourdes. Ah, the, the cup. Ajá. She is, she's wearing a cap. She's wearing a cap. Okay, yeah, that's right. She's wearing a cap. Not a hat, but a cap. A bit different. Okay, and number eight, write a letter. How about this one? Write a letter. If you know, please raise your hand. Enrique. Number A. Yes. She is writing a lady. She's writing, she isn't writing a letter. Okay. She isn't writing a letter. Están manchando la pantalla. No me manchen la pantalla. Okay. Where is it? Uh, Eraser, yeah, I have to erase this. Okay. All right. Un puntito ahí todavía. It's a gra graffiti. It's a graffiti, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So, uh, because of the time, we're going to skip this exercise altogether, and I want to go directly into the question form. Okay, question form is right here. Okay, yes. Pressing continuous question form. Okay. Affirmative, negative form. Okay, take a look. The affirmative form, you say, I, I am doing, I am not doing, he is working, he's not working. Uh, you, saw, you have we are going, we are not going, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So this is the affirmative and the negative form. What about the question form? The question form goes like this. Okay, you have the subject and then you have the verb be. Okay, so the subject and the verb be change positions. Okay, and now you have a question. It's very easy. The auxiliary verb that you use in present continuous is the verb be. So it's, it's very easy to use. So take a look. You say, am I doing? Is he working? Is she going? Is it staying? Are you working? Are we going? Are they staying? And you have some questions. She's asking, what are you doing? Okay. Are you feeling okay? Yes, no question. You say, yes, I'm fine. Thanks. 
Second question, second example. Is it raining? And the person says, yes, take an umbrella, okay? Uh, the next one is, why are you wearing a jacket? It's not cold. Now, this is an information question because she's asking, this person is asking, why? This person wants a reason. They want to know the reason for something. So why are you wearing a jacket? It's not cold. Next question, what's Paul doing? That is, what is Paul doing? Another information question. He is reading the newspaper, okay? Um, what are the children doing, okay? They're wa they are watching television. Then you have, look, there's Emma. Where is she going? Okay, another WH question. Who are you waiting for? Another WH question, information question. Are you waiting for Rose? That's a yes, no question, okay? So... Uh, Okay, let's continue. Oh. Okay, uh, this is the word order, remember? Uh, you have to use the verb am, is, or are, then the subject, and then the verb in ing. You say, is he working today? Is Paul working today? Those are yes, no questions. And then, if you want to uh, ask an information question, then you have to add a WH word at the beginning. So where are they going? Where are those people going? Short answers for yes, no questions include, yes, I am. Yes, he is. Yes, she is. Yes, it is. Yes, we are. Yes, you are. Yes, they are. If it's negative, you say, no, I'm not. Then you say, yes, he's, sorry, no, he's not, or no, he isn't. You can say, no, she's not, or no, she isn't. No, it's not, or no, it isn't. No, we're not, or no, we aren't. No, you're not, or no, you aren't. No, they're not, or no, they aren't. And you have some examples. Are you going now? Yes, I am. Is Paul working today? Yes, he is. Is it raining? No, it isn't. Are your friends staying at the hotel? No, they aren't. They're staying with me. Exercise. This is the present continuous question form. Uh, look at the pictures and write the questions. You have to use the information <clears throat> in parentheses. You watch it. So the question is, are you watching it? And then he says, no, you can turn it off. Now, all the questions in this exercise are yes, no questions. So you have to begin the question with the verb be, okay? It's the verb be that you're going to use to begin each question. So um, what about number two? Do you know the answer? Please raise your hand. Well, do you know the question? Please raise your hand. Uh-huh, Cecia. Number two. Yes. Are you going now? Are you going now? Yes, see you tomorrow. Dicea, no van a colgar la llamada. Number three. Okay, uh, thank you, Cecia. Uh, number three, what's the question? Baudilio. Is, is, it is raining. It is or is it? Is it? Sorry. Uh -huh, is it's it, a question. Is it raining? Is it raining? No, not at the moment. Okay. Thank you, Baudilio. Number four. They are at the movies, at the movie theater. Enrique. Number four. Yes. Um, are you enjoying the film? That is correct. Are you enjoying the film? Yes, it's very funny, she says. Thank you, Enrique. That's correct. Number five.
Number five. Maria de Lourdes. Is that clock working? Is that clock working? No, it's broken. Okay, thank you very much. Is that clock working? No, it's broken. Great. Uh, Baudilio, the last one, number six. Are you waiting for a bus? Are you waiting for a bus? No, for a taxi, he says. Okay, thank you very much. Th those are the correct questions. Next exercise. Okay, now, information questions. Okay, it becomes a bit more difficult. Look at the pictures and write the questions. For example, number one, he's asking, what are you reading? What about number two? Number two. Odilio. Where is she going to? Where is she going? Simply, oh. where is she going? Mm -hmm. Where is she going? Okay, thank you, Valerio. Uh, number three. Maria de Lourdes. What oh, are I, you I have the same reading? participants. It's Cecia, Valdilio, Maria Lourdes, Cecia, Valdilio, Maria Lourdes. Come on, what about the rest? I'm Thank you, sorry. Maria Lourdes. No, yeah. no, it's fine. No, don't don't apologize. Thank you for participating. Yeah. Okay, so Maria, Maria Lourdes. What are you eating? What are you eating? Yeah, that's right. What are you eating? Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Okay, uh, number four. Okay, who wants to try? Okay, you see, Cecia. Okay, hey, what about the rest? Come on, people, let's participate. See, Valdilio now is raising his hand. Who's next? Maria Lourdes? Okay, please, uh, everybody, try to participate. Cecia, number four. Uh, why? Pero yo no tengo lentes, Ticho. Así, no, mentira, no sé. Why? Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Yes. Why are you crying? Okay. Yeah, that's right. Why are you crying? Thank you. Number five. Who wants to try? <laughs> I want to hear different people this time. But thank you. What about number five? Vamos. Animense. I know it's late. I know you're tired. I know you're sleepy. I know you're hungry, probably. But come on, let's let's participate. We still have uh, 15 more minutes of class. See, Maria Lourdes, I knew it. Okay, Maria Lourdes, <laughs> please. What are they seeing? What are they seeing? Seeing? Possible, but there is another verb that is more appropriate. Mm. Watching? Why are they watching is possible, okay? But we don't know if it's uh, something happening or is something static. So there is another verb that is better than seeing or watching. The grammar is good, but the verb, the choice of verb is not the best. What Cecia. are they ah, looking? Okay, now, I'm what sorry. are they looking? No, it's okay, it's okay. What are they looking? But normally the verb look needs a preposition. What's that preposition? What are they looking? Normalmente el verbo look lleva una preposición. ¿Cuál es? What are they looking? At. What are they looking at? Yeah, that's right. What are they looking at? Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you very much, Maria Lourdes. Um, what about number six? Number six. Enrique. Number six. Yes. Why why are you working? Um probably not. 
No, it's actually very different. Oh. Please help me. Okay, Baudilio is going to help you. <laughs> Why is he laughing? Why is he laughing? That's correct. Why is he laughing? ¿Por qué está riendo? Why is he laughing? Yeah, that's right. He's remembering funny things. Okay. All right. So uh, next exercise. Write the questions. Is working, Paul, today? What's the question? You just have to put the words in the correct order to do this. So first question. Just unscramble the questions. Maria Lourdes, then Ever. Okay, Maria Lourdes, you take number one, Ever, number two. Is Paul working today? Yeah, yes, no question. Is Paul working today? Thank you very much. Ever Enrique, Gallegos, Mejia, number two. What are doing the children? Um, the word order is a bit different. So you say, what are the children doing? Uh huh. What are the children doing? Because this is like saying, I say, uh, what? Sorry, it's uh, you have a wh word, then the verb be, then the subject. And then the verb in ing, and then whatever follows in a question mark. So you say here, what are children doing? Okay, so the wh word is what, the verb e is are, the subject is the children, and then finally the verb e doing. If you are not sure about this, you can also replace the subject with a pronoun. Say, what are they, oops, they doing? Mm -hmm. And there you go. What are they doing? What are the children doing? Thank you very much. Uh, let's continue. Number three. Enrique. Si no puedo que la termine bajo Billio. Okay. Number three. Uh, are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? Correct. Yeah, very yeah. good. You didn't you didn't need Valilio's help. Okay, so okay, you can do it. You can do it yourself. Okay. Number four. What about number four? You can tell me. Baudilio. And then Karen Julissa, number five. Where are you going to? Where I, uh -huh. where are going your friends? Okay. So let's take a look. Okay. Where? Okay, that's good. It's a WH word. Are, that's good. It's the verb E. Uh -huh. And then where are? Uh, your friends? Aha. Uh -huh. You say ah, your friends. Your friend. Then the verb in ing. Going. Where are your friends going? Oh. Okay. It's okay. Okay. Thank you. Karen Julissa, number five, please. Permítame. Okay. <laughs> Are watching your no <laughs> are are you parents television watching? Not exactly. Okay. <laughs> let's take a look again, right? Let's let's follow the formula. So you say <laughs> say uh give me a moment. Okay. You say here, are, and then 
Then the subject, what's the subject here? I'm going to stop it. Give me a moment, give me a moment. I'm going to try to adjust this so we can see it. Okay, better. All right, so R, watching your parents' television. So what do you have? R, what's the subject? Sure, party. Aha, uh -huh. are your parents? And then, verb in ing. Watching. Uh huh. watching. And after that? Television iré al final. Yes, TV. Are your parents uh -huh. watching TV or are your parents watching television? Correct. Uh -huh. Okay, gracias. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, Karen Julissa. Number six, Maria Magdalena. What is Jessica cooking? What is Jessica cooking? That is correct. Thank you, Maria Magdalena. Number seven. Wants to try number seven? Why are you looking at me? Why are you looking at me? Okay, yeah, correct. Thank you, Maria Magdalena. Okay, uh, how about number eight? You know, please raise your hand. Is the bus coming? Okay, thank you, Maria Magdalena. Three times in a row. Okay, is the bus coming? Thank you very much. Okay. All right, write short answers. Okay, now you tell me uh, short answers. Real short answers. Okay, so the first one is, are you watching TV? What do you have? I'm going to select the people because you don't want to participate today, do you? Okay, let's see. Wilber Rafael. Can you hear me, Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias? Yes, teacher. Okay, are you watching TV? No, I don't. No, careful. Okay, look. Uh, your choice of uh, auxiliary verb depends on the question. Okay, so if they ask you, are you, ready to zoom in, are you watching TV? They are using the verb be at the beginning. So you need to use the verb be also when you answer the question. So you say, are you watching TV? You say, no, I am not. Now, if they ask you, for example, do you like uh, to watch TV? In that case, now you have the verb do. If that's the case, then you're going to answer with, yes, I do, or no, I don't. But you have to be careful, right? If, if the question begins with the verb be, you answer using the verb be. If the question begins with do or does, then you answer using do or does, okay? So I'm gonna ask you again, uh, Wilber, are you watching TV? No, I, no, I am not. No, I am not, you say, okay, no, I'm not. All right, thank you. I'm gonna ask the next person. Erika Beatriz, Guillén Pineda. Can you hear me? Erika Beatriz, Guillén Pineda. Good evening, teacher. Hi, okay, I'm going to ask you Hi. the second one. Are you wearing a watch? Uh, no, I am not. No, I'm not. Thank you, Erica. Thank you very much. I'm going to ask the next person. Let's see. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. 
Are you here with us online tonight? Juan Carlos Portillo Arias, Mr. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias, Earth Calling. Okay. He is lost, anda perdido. Okay. Mm. Haciendo trampa ahí, entonces. Okay, let's see. Um, Arles Ernesto López. Mr. Arles Ernesto López. Are you here? Arles Ernesto López. Mm. Present okay. teacher. Hi. Question for you. Are you eating something? No, I am not. Okay, thank you, Arles. Okay, next question. I'm going to ask Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Okay, Salvador. Okay. Uh, Salvador, is it raining? Raining. Uh, no, I am not. In... Uh, careful. Is no. it raining? Uh, no, it raining in Santa Ana. Yeah. Okay, so uh, careful right here because it's uh, it's a short answer that I need. So I ask you, is it raining? Is it so you say no, then you have to use the same subject and then the verb in negative form. So you say no. Correct form is no, no it. No, no, it isn't. No, it isn't, right? I can compare the same subject. Is it raining? No, it isn't. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, um, what about the next one? I'm gonna ask, let's see, Jose Amilcar Reyes Cruz. Jose Amilcar, you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Are you sitting on the, okay, okay. Are you sitting on the floor? Um, are you sitting on the floor? Are you sitting on the floor? Mm -hmm. mm. No, I not. The verb be no, I. No, I not, not. Uh, okay, but careful if they ask you, are you sitting on the floor? Your answer is no, I not. Hay algo falta. ¿Qué nos falta ahí? What's missing? Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Okay, no problem. Maria Magdalena? No, I am not. No, I am not, mm. right? The verb <laughs> is, right? Okay, thank. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your participation. So, no, I'm not. Okay, good. And the last one. Okay, I'm going to ask, who am I going to ask? Let's say, I'm going to ask Saul Ernesto. Saul Ernesto Martinez Portillo. Are you feeling well? Siente bien? Are you feeling well? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay, cool. Yes, I am. You can say. All right. That's very nice. Okay. All right, so uh, before we finish, we're going to go over this pronunciation, intonation, and statements, okay? So what is this? Listen in practice, notice the statements usually have falling intonation. Statements means oraciones, declarativas, normalmente afirmativas y negativas. So that's a statement. Notice the statements usually have falling intonation. So I want you to listen. You say, I'm working in Singapore. It was like up and down. Okay, I'm working in Singapore. We don't say Singapore, no. 
it has falling intonation. So I'm working in Singapore. The second one is she's waiting at the bus stop. She's waiting at the bus stop. It like goes up a little bit and then down. She's waiting at the bus stop and they're living at home. They're living at home, goes down. So that's what I uh, wanted you to know right here. I'm going to take attendance because it's eight. We need to finish this class. Um, por favor, trabajen en la plataforma. Si se han atrasado en algo, es el momento de concluir. Tienen que tener el 80% de todas las actividades hechas, así como el 80% de participación, es decir, asistencia. ¿De acuerdo? Así que, si todavía les faltan actividades, por favor, complétenlas. Complétenlas ya. Y... Eh, Por favor, tratemos de no perder las últimas dos clases que nos quedan. Porque, pues, eh, puede hacer la diferencia entre cumplir el requisito o no cumplirlo. Así que no se arriesguen. Traten de estar acá en clase. ¿Ok? Conéctense desde el principio hasta el final. ¿De acuerdo? I'm going to call the, uh, the attendance again. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. Wait a minute. Give me a moment. Ah, I know. Uh, sorry, just a second. Got confused here. All right. Um, Jose Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. Okay, thank you, Jose Benjamin. Jose Valentin Rivera Lopez. Karen Julisa Vasquez de Aparicio. Present teacher. Welcome. Okay, everybody. Thank you very much, and I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye bye.